So Tez2, who is like a super, super reliable Rockstar games reporter, posted this. It looks like Rockstar is gearing up to release Red Dead Redemption 1 on PC. And this was taken from a script within uh, the launcher site file. They updated it today, added these strings, marketing strings, the same way Rockstar promotes GTA 5. And in it, he says, quote, Red Dead Redemption or RDR underscore product promotion underscore intro underscore body. Quote, journey across the sprawling expanses of the American West and Mexico in Red Dead Redemption and its zombie horror companion, Undead Nightmare. And then, like, usually that's uh, an indication of, like, a uh, special character that's not recognized in the code or something. Now available on PC. RDR underscore product promotion underscore intro underscore long title. Experience the epic Western adventures that defined a generation. Dun, dun, dun. So it's probably happening. The thing is with all of this stuff though, I, I always try to remind people like, do you guys remember when they did, they released Red Dead Redemption on the PlayStation, like with the, the updated PlayStation version, they announced that it was coming. They did this big announcement. Everybody got super excited. And then it turned out it was a PS4 port. It wasn't even a PS5 port. It came to the PS4 and people got really upset because it didn't even have 60 FPS support at launch. Later, they patched it and added 60 FPS support, but they just like, they, they didn't announce that part, the part that people really wanted. It, it was really, really odd how they handled it. It was really, really stupid, but uh, they did that. But as you can see, I mean, it's a PS4 game and it was released on August 17th of 2023. It was just really odd. So I I would expect them to bring it to PC, but I'm also like, guys, who really expects it to be a good port? Like they've, they've shown very recently that they have very weird priorities, you know? Like they, they announced this thinking people would be thrilled and obviously a lot of people bought it and liked it. But then the part people were really excited for, which was the, the 60 FPS boost, they updated and patched that in later, like a month or two later, and didn't say hardly anything about it. And it's like, but that was the big thing everybody wanted. Why did you hide that? Like the thing people wanted, you didn't make a big deal about for some reason. It was just weird. So I'm I'm hopeful that it's a really good port, that there's lots of, you know, lots of customization, that there's lots of, of things that can be done. And performance is really good and it's optimized. And I mean, ideally even HD texture packs and stuff like that would be great. But worst case scenario, modders will get in there and improve some stuff so fingers crossed fingers crossed for that one we shall see we shall see i would expect they probably drop that in the next like week or two they announce that as for when it officially launches who knows but uh yeah i mean i think that that's a layup for them easy money people on pc will buy it in droves play it have a good time it'll be great yeah Briven world um Nobody expects this to be a good port, but people will buy it anyway because it's probably the first time a lot of people uh, on PC or PC gamers, they're able to play the game. Yeah, no, and I mean, even back with the the PS4, PlayStation, whatever port, even with that, people still bought that in droves, even though it was like a really, let's release a port for something that came out a decade ago. You know, it's it would be like Nintendo announcing a new game or, or a port of of some game from like the GameCube or something, and it's a Wii U port. And you're like, but that's, but that's like your last piece of hardware. Why are you doing that now? Like why, what? <laughs> you know, it just wouldn't make any sense. You know, it's just stupid. He took my thing.